Hello, it's Andy from Flanker again. And today we're going to cover the installation of the Flanker tool set. And we're going to start with part one, which is the, the basic bundle, because the Pro bundle is a basic bundle with extra features. So I can split this into two parts. If you've got the Pro bundle, you still want to watch this video to install these uh, free tools first, and then skip to the Pro bundle, which will cover the rest of the tools for you. So let's get into it. Let's go to the um, small screen, because in the last video I went full screen for too long. So on your account page on flanker.com, well, let's first talk about the tools that are in this bundle. So today we're going to be installing the P3D Converter, the Daisy Texture Baker, and the Daisy Texture Pack. So on your account page, you'll see this Downloads tab. You want to go into this. If you only have the basic bundle, you won't have all of these. This is, um, let's just get the ones that you need. So you're going to need the Daisy Texture Baker. You want the... Ignore this 3.6. This is only in this in this video. I will be removing this before I post this video. So you want to download the 4.0.8 or whichever the latest version is at the time you're watching this. And you want the node as well, the node group. So you want to download them two there. You want to find your P3D converter. You want to install this, uh, download the setup. And then you also on the texture pack, you want to download the texture pack and the texture maker. So I've already got them downloaded somewhere. They're here. This Well, this is all my plan. So we're going to go for the P3D converter first. So you want to extract this, extract all, and you'll end up with a setup. You just double click it. Oh, I missed the double click. Double click it. It'll say, um, because it's not signed, because I don't know how to sign a Windows application, you, you'll get a blue window popping up. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can see it on my stream, actually. So just click more info and run anyway. It's because it's an unknown publisher. I'm unknown, apparently. So you just um, install it in the default location if you want to. You can change if you want to install it to a different drive and such and such. So that's installed. As simple as that. So let's go back. You can delete the P3D converter setups. You don't need them anymore. Save some room on your computer. And we're going to do the texture pack. So with the texture pack and the texture baker, you install them through Blender itself. So if you haven't got Blender installed, Watch part one of this guide and it will show you how to install Blender and get all that set up for you. So we're going to launch into Blender. I'm going to go to edit at the top. Preferences. Oh, by the way, if you have that window that popped up there, just click to the to the side of it. It'll go away. So we're going to edit preferences and then install. Uh, let me find this location again. So how I find it is I copy this. So I right click copy and in Blender. Oh, this one here, yeah. I click in the file pop up there and I press Control V because you can't right click, it doesn't let you right click in there. So Control V and it will take you to that path, press enter. So we're gonna install, I'm gonna try this actually for this video, see if we can install multiple add-ons. So we're gonna go to Texture Baker and the Texture Pack. So I've selected both of them, click install. And now if I close that little search bit up there and type in Daisy. Okay, so we only install the Texture Pack, so that doesn't work. Ignore what I just did there. We're going to install the texture baker now as well. So we've got both of them installed. You'll only see one. You click on the set cross up here and search again for Daisy. You'll see both of them. So we'll go with the texture pack first. So you enable this. Give it a moment to load. There we go, it's loaded. And we're going to minimize that. And to get to the texture pack, you need to have an object in your scene. So if your scene's empty, just go to add mesh. Add a plane, a cube, anything like that. Just click on it. And then in this top right corner, I call this the gimbal for references in the future. And next to this gimbal, there's a tiny little arrow, like a little arrow pointing to the left. Sorry, you want to click on that arrow and it'll extend this panel. And on this panel, you'll see daisy textures. And the license key you can get from your account page. So on the texture pack one, just control A, control C. Go back to Blender paste it in there and activate so there you go you've got the base textures there's 50 in total inside of this pack so your texture packs installed and we're going to do the texture baker now so go to preferences again and if you don't see it like this again just search up here for daisy and you'll find it enable the daisy texture baker and this texture baker it will be in the Baker, in the render, sorry, in the render tab on this right hand side. So, again, in future references, if I say in your tools tab, I mean this side here, these little buttons. 
So you go to the render, it looks like the back of a camera. Click on there. Um, by default, it's on EV. This is good for quick previews, but you won't get the real shading and stuff. So you want to change this to cycles. Um, and further down the list, if you keep scrolling, you'll see Daisy Texture Baker. You can move this to the top if you really want to. Okay, I think you can only move it so far, actually. Yeah, you can only move it so far up, so it's there. Go back to the website and find your texture baker. This one, copy. Oh, I think copy. Uh, I hope I didn't paste the other one in there. I'll refresh a page just in case because I think I might have just messed that up. So go to my texture baker, control A, control C. Go back to Blender and paste your license in there and submit. So there you go, your baker is set up now and your texture pack is all set up. But now we need to set up the node. So the node groups, you, this is a new thing. I don't know, it's not a new thing. It's just a, a different way to install. So you go to your preferences still, it's still in the preferences, but you find file paths on this left side. So file paths, then you click, um, in fact, we're not gonna click add new just yet. We need to get a file path. So go to your downloads where you downloaded um, the texture node. So if you double click this, you'll see you've got a blend file. You want to extract this to a, like somewhere where you'll remember. So I'm going to save this to my uh, P drive. No, yeah. No, I'm going to save it to my C drive actually. So new folder. I'm going to call this one blend. I'm not going to type anything because I just created a. What have I done? New folder. Oh my Jesus Christ, I can't rename. So I'm gonna call this one blend blender assets. So inside of there is where you wanna get that zip to go to. And I've I've lost the zip. So we go back into the node. And I'm gonna drag this into there. So I've got blender assets. You can put it into its own folder if you're gonna use multiple assets, like some material packs you find online. They also need to go into your Blender Assets folder, but for this purpose, I'm going to call it Blender Assets. So I'm going to close my folders. And in this um, asset library part here, you want to click on the plus and then browse to that folder that you just made. So I put it on my C drive, didn't I? C drive, Blender Assets, Add Asset Library. It'll take you into the folder. Just click it again, Add Asset Library, and it's done. It's, the, it's, the, it's done. So you can close this. And to get to the... Um, where you can actually see your assets. You go to your shading tab, and in this left panel over here, you can extend it if you want to make it wider, but you click on this little folder icon up here and change that to Asset Browser. And then you'll get like loads of hairs. These are like the default Blender files. Click on the little arrow again, but in the top left, this side. And then where it says All, change that to Blender Assets. And there's the nodes that you need. So. So if you want to make your own texture and stuff, we've got your own daisy texture node right there. If you want to convert the normals if they're in like a different mode. We'll cover that in a later video, but these these are um, pretty important nodes. Let's just put it that way. So we've got everything all set up now for the basic plan. We're going to continue installing the rest of the videos in rest of the videos, rest of the tools in the pro bundle video, which will be coming up in the next slot in the playlist if you're watching the playlist. If not. There'll be a link to the description in the description where of the playlist for the full installation guide. So if this video has helped, I'm gonna ask again, hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.